Hello everyone, it's me Richard from Recon Rendition, and I want to welcome you to episode 3 of my new blog. This is for the Vulcan uniform that I just ordered, and I just received in the mail, so I'm going to give you a first impression and in-depth look at their features. Alright, as you guys see, I am wearing the new 2000, I believe it's the 2013 uh, Sierra, it's the, I, it's the 2013 model, I, it is the Sierra jersey. Um, great things about this vest, well, the whole, it's the, the, the difference between the Sierra jet, jersey which is the cheaper of the jerseys and the Zulu jersey is that there's a full camel cover camel pattern across uh, the Zulu jersey is more expensive um, however it is designed for uh, players who do wear um, scenario vests there out in the woods um, what it is the difference between this jersey this is a heavy duty material going across I'm not sure exactly what it's made of um, yet I will let you know you guys know later but it is definitely a heavy duty material. It's not going to tear up there in the woods if you're crawling through thorn bushes like I've been doing. Um, if you if you just abuse your gear, this it doesn't seem like it's going to fall apart really easily. And I'm ecstatic about that because I'm tired of replacing gear. Um, the diff the Zulu jersey has uh, an Under Armour type material. It's not like a compression, but it's that that, that same material. It's a little stretchy. It, it, it's de designed to have more breathability and whisk away sweat, keep you cool with your vest on. Um, this is designed for players who have packs, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, anyway, so things I like about this, just right off the bat, I, when I throw it on, I notice that there are these elastic cuffs. Um, I don't know if, you, yeah, you guys can see this. There are these nice elastic cuffs. They're nice, um, soft material, so they don't irritate your wrist. Um, I don't need thumb, I don't ever use thumb holes in jerseys, so I'm glad they don't have that in this. Um... Very nice. Nothing's going to get in. It's not super tight where you're going to have those marks on your hand or your wrist, but it is, um, it's, it's, it's there. It's well placed. So, you know, you're not, if you slide, you're not going to get too much stuff up in your jersey, which is phenomenal. Um, as you guys can see on the, on the sides of the arm, there are these nice large cargo pockets. Um, yeah, let me actually fold it down first. You guys can see this Velcro strip coming across. You guys can throw anything from name tape to your blood type to, any type of Velcro patch you got or strip you got right there, which is nice. Um, woods ball players and Milson players, you know, we love patches. So throw your patches right there. Um, great play, you know, nice thick, ni nice big patch area. You got team patches, you got website patches. I know a bunch of X7 operators or A5 operators or BT warrior guys. Throw your patches on it. Great spot for your patches. This is the left arm, by the way. The great thing about the left arm is that there's a little tab here. And I don't know if you guys can, yeah, right there. And you just pull up on it, and all of a sudden this pops up to a scenario ID holder. Um, a lot of scenario vests, uh, like Flurry Industries, the one I have, has a scenario, you know, you can keep all your scenario um, information right in the front. You gotta just pull down, you can keep your player's card there, your ID there, the whole nine yards. Um, this is actually a little easier. I like this because instead of having my gun hanging to the side, I have to put my gun down, I have to show my player's card in case I walk by my own base, you know, with the base protection. All I gotta do is just reach over, pull down, say, hey, player. Player card, you know, I'm on your team. Um, I love it. I actually love all of this feature. You know, there's a clear plastic, uh, clear plastic. I don't know if you guys can see that well. Uh, clear plastic sleeve in there. There's nothing on the top. It's just you know, it folds down. You can keep all your stuff in there. Really great. On this side, there is there is a flap, um, but there is isn't a scenario vest. Again, you know, large uh, large Velcro area. Actually, larger than this side. Um, I actually threw my Vulcan Core Elite patch on there, guys. If you guys can go join the Vulcan Core as soon as possible, they give you know great at events and everything. Um, again, you can put a strip of name tape, blood tape, whatever you want. These both arms have these nice cargo pockets. I don't. I'm gonna stand up here. Um, I can fit my whole hand in here. I could throw a grenade in there. I don't, there you can see the depth of it a bit. On the other side, it's the same thing. I can fit my whole. You guys can see that. I'm, no, I'm doing the chicken wing here, but it's a nice big cargo pocket. Uh, typically, what I'll do with these actually, I'm I'll probably throw like a sports smoke or two in one and uh, like a grenade in the other. If I'm not like diving around, I usually use uh, like pot holders on my uh, Flurry Industry vest to do that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you why this jersey in particular is a little more adept for those players who wear pod packs as opposed to. Um, as opposed to scenario vest. If I stand up, I'm going to show you these two quick uh, Velcros that, you know, that loosen the jersey, and I'll sit back down and, you know. Alright. 
as you guys just saw, those have it has two Velcro strips which hold the side of the jersey. And you guys can kind of move them around and adjust them to make the jersey a little small, tighter to your frame. But that's really if you have a pod pack and you don't want to be on top of your jersey, you could throw it under your jersey. You could um, just pop open those, and that's what actually my, my dad uses it for. Um, he just, you know, opens the Velcro, throws his pod pack under, and he just reaches under his jersey and grabs it. Um, it's kind of the same concept as speedball jerseys, where the jersey's really, like, a lot bigger than what you need, but, you know, it accommodates your pod pack under it, even though, like, players tuck their pod pack, you know, their jersey behind their pod pack. It's just one of those concepts, and I, I like that kind of, I like that little, you know, maneuver, adaptability to it. Um, in case I decide not to wear a, uh, a scenario vest out there in the woods, I decide to go to a, you know, a player, a speedball pack for once. So, who knows? Um, now I'm going to switch to the pants. So give I'm me. I'm gonna a start from top to bottom. So, top to bottom. Um, we're going to right off the bat. I see instead of you know you got Velcro to hold yourself in place, you have a zipper as well. You have a lot of um, you have nice deep cargo pockets right off the bat with zippers right here. You can reach in. Fit your whole hand. It actually comes down. That's how big the cargo pocket is. So that's a nice deep cargo pocket. This is a nice deep cargo pocket. I mean, I like it. It's good for holding a swab. It's good for holding a you know, grenade if you really need it to. But you got other pockets for that. And your barrel sock, things like that. And it zips. It has a nice little tassel on the zipper, so no more fumbling around with your zipper. With this, um, it is going. You all you gotta do, even if you have gloves on, just grab it. Down. Simple. Um, the pants. You know, have Velcro and a zipper to hold it in place. But also, what's interesting, instead of a snap bun, um, they have a actual, actual bun that goes through a hole. I mean, you just thumb it through, and voila, it's closed. The whole pants system actually utilizes this um, for the cargo pockets too. Which, for the pants, I don't, you know, to secure the pants, I don't mind. But for the cargo pockets, I'm not really too much of a fan of. But I'll get to that in a second. Now, like most speed, most sorry, excuse me, um, scenario pants and woods ball pants, they have these. I'm not sure about speedball pants, so pardon me. Um, they have these adjustable belt systems. So really, it's um, the belt comes to like, the belt comes to here, right? All you gotta do is pull on this to make the pants tighter and put it down the velcro. You can, you know, undo that. You just stretching it out and then put it back, and it goes to its larger size. Um, same thing on the opposite side. You can see the belt system there. What's nice about this pants, though, even though if that doesn't seem to suffice, it also gives you uh, thick, heavy-duty belt loops. Everything looks firmly stitched. I mean, I don't see any problems with the stitching. It's not double-stitched, but it's, it's it, you know, pulling on It's not doing anything, so it hasn't ripped on me yet. Um, <laughs> so you can obviously you always have uh, room for another belt if you, use the, if you utilize the Moly belt system. Moving on further down, we have, or let me keep up here for a second actually. You guys can see this nice thick padding on the hips, right? I know, getting shot in the side of the leg hurts like hell. And they utilize it right right here. There's this nice thick gel pad. And it doesn't, um, it doesn't, you know, affect your mobility out there. You run just as fast, you crawl just as easily. It doesn't, you know, restrain you in any way, which is what I like. Now moving further down, let's move to the crotch. The crotch is really nice. It has this very, it has a lot of padding. It has not a lot of padding, but it's not, it, the padding is sufficient around the, the groin area. Uh, the crotch is actually this very stretchy material um, to give you cut, to give you like perfect mobility. I actually threw these on and started crawling around my front yard with these. I've tried, you know, every position. I tried throwing my legs up here and crawling on my back. I've tried everything to get, you know, to be like limited by these pants. So I like something I couldn't do with these and. I haven't had that problem yet, but when I do, I will run it. I will, you know, throw that out there. But you know, so far, like, they're definitely very, they're definitely very um, knowledgeable on how to, you know, keep your pad up but keep you uh, mobile and you know, flexible out there. Um, as you guys see, the VTEC logo. But before in the 2010 versions, I believe, I don't. These are 2013. The 2012 and 2011 versions. These these shin paddings were black. Now they actually made them the the actual camel color that you ordered so it goes across on the camera as I see it now um, it looks like this brown right here is different from this brown over here and it's really not it's, it's not the lighting in my house in my basement which is where I'm filming this from it's not the lighting I've tried filming this in three different ways I've you know took pictures of it upstairs downstairs in different lighting it always looks like this to the human eye, it looks exactly the same. So don't you know let that freak you out. Moving on down, um, 
these the cuffs of the uh, of the pants actually come with this little drawstring. Don't yank too hard on that because I'm sure it'll, it looks like it'll rip. I actually ripped one already. Um, trying to do this video earlier, but I sewed it back up. Not a big deal. Um, in case you want to tie it off at your boot, you don't want anything getting up. If you're chalking through the mud, you, know, you don't want to get mud on your legs. Just tie it up, tie it. It's just a drawstring system, so it will, uh, you know, draw up and pull back open. Now let's go to the back, right? Before I get, I'm going to do the po cargo pockets last. The back, the back is kind of nice. Um, there's no big padding in the back. There's no butt padding, which um, kind of sucks. I've been shot in the ass and it hurts. But what's nice is all those. Look at all that. That's venting. It's like a miracle. Got all this padding. It's heavy duty stuff, but it's like perfect venting and all the time I was rolling around with these you know in my front yard I didn't sweat once because my legs were not overheated which is really nice um, you know of course I haven't tested this on the field but you know um, this is definitely something I look uh, forward to playing out there in the field with I mean look at all this much it's breathability right there no you know I don't have to worry about god I don't have to worry about overheating anymore you know Living Legends 3 my that was my third ever paintball game and I made it out there because I was inspired by the tech TV guys I showed up in like a loose under armor shirt and jeans, and it was like close to 100 degrees, humid as hell, far in that godforsaken ravine, and with you know, if, if it wasn't for like Dragon Tozan, I would have died out there, because he lent me his Vulcan pants, he lent me, and Samuel uh, Bravaca Pinky, who I like to call him, thank you for lending me that evil jersey back then, because that saved my life too, because you know, you need venting out there in the woods. Vent, especially on hot, uh, that is vital. Keep hydrated, things like that. But so I'm looking forward to playing with these. All right, now the cargo pockets are something I'm kind of wary about, but I'll start with the pros first, and then with the cons from these. As you can see, I can fit my whole hand in here. Um, I'm gonna try to get a good view here. I mean, you got look at look at that huge space right there. I don't know if you can see that, but I mean, I got like a wide. I can fit my two hands in there, which is really nice for those of who who, uh, who like to carry grenades, uh, sports smoke, extra mags, things like that. Um, my one problem with this, and it's the same thing on the other leg too, you got one cargo pocket just like this, so I'm just gonna, only going to go over this one. The problem with this is that it's the same button that comes up, you know, you button your pants with, it's that you got to go through, and if I'm in the heat of battle, I got gloves on, I, I don't, I'm not really, I'm not, I'm, I have big hands, so you know, I can't really fumble around with, you know, it's not even like it sticks out, it's, you have to lift this first flap, and then you get to the, to that little button. And then you unloop it, and then come out, and then you're able to access your pocket. I actually have one undone because I'm able to get my hand kind of easily in there, and then grab what I need. Um, I'm not really too, I'm not too excited about these buttons on, um, on the cargo pockets. I think they could have done away with that. I think they could have used Velcro. I think they could have used a snap button system maybe, but I would have preferred the Velcro. Um, but you know, we'll see. I'll, I I could change my mind. I don't know. So I'll definitely try. I'll definitely you know I'll be using these pants anyway. So um, I'll definitely know. Let you know my opinions on them and then, like what you could, if you have these, what you could do to like better use the system. Throw your motherfucking Cincinnati hats in the sky, nigga don't ask why. Red lace.